Hey everyone, this is Banley Basro, and welcome back to the Cradle of Rune. Previously, we saw Angelica's backstory. Now we're on our way to the finale of the game. So I think we have an opportunity to explore around. I'm assuming. Hotaro, you are early today. Soon we'll say goodbye to this facility. Now go finish your unfinished business. Hotaro, good morning. What should we play today? I'm going to ask Maggie to play with me. After we have breakfast, I'm going to give the painting to Angelica. So is- are we all clear? Is nothing more bad gonna happen? Good morning, Hotaro. Did you sleep well last night? Although I can't remember it clearly, my heart somehow feels warm. It feels like someone's important feeling was conveyed to me. It's not like we went inside your heart crystal or anything. That weird of a concept that is. Good morning, Hotaro. What a great morning. You didn't sleep well. You got bags on your eyes. Yesterday was a mess. Thank you for helping, Hotaro. Done. What do I do now? Talk to everybody. May I take the portrait with me? What do I do, Bun Bun? Okay. What? The important thing is... Calm down and listen. Uh... Everyone listen up. I'm going to leave this facility tomorrow. Eh? Why? Miggy, you finally made up your mind. This is the decision McCurry and I made after our discussion. Supplies and food are running out. There's only death if we stay here. We will leave tomorrow. Get out of here and go to Tokyo. Tokyo has everything. We don't have to worry as long as we get there. I wonder if that's really true or not. Is it really that safe? It's snowing out there. Just like the prophecy said, it's snowing outside and will be a dangerous and hard journey. But I suggest everyone go together. Any objection? Must we leave here? If I don't go, I'll have to say goodbye to Megi. Plus you'll be alone and you'll die. Suna is going. It's Megi's leaving. So Suna will go with you. So, so is Hotaro, right? I will protect us with my swole muscles. Looks like it's final. Of course, I will be with everyone. After all, there isn't the five of us together. Nothing can start. Angelica. That's decided. We're leaving. We're going tomorrow morning. Everyone go pack your bags. Can I bring my doll with me? We can't bring everything. After all, there's a limited space. She's right. I'm sorry. Understood. Suna will be fine. I doubt a doll would take up that much space. Thank you, Suna. You're growing as well. Well, it's okay. Suna's not a kid anymore. Miggy, you will have to pick up the food. No problem. But you need to carry the heavy stuff, though. You're a bile roid. You carry the heavy stuff. Yeah, sure. Angelica, can you handle the coats? Actually, I don't think they know that in this route. <laughs> Understood. No, Angelica does. But no one else does. 
Um, do Suna and Hotaro have anything to do? For moral support. Let me see. Well, go get clothes ready. Roger. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be a joyful journey. We're all gonna freeze to death. The world's doomed. Yep. But sometimes that's not bad. Oh, you're actually smiling. A little creepy, you're all smiling. Bun Bun, are we really home clear or are we, it's just a lie? Maybe we're home clear. Demo. Looks like I can't go after you right away. Please watch over us from the beyond. You know, whatever say, you are my most precious twin sister. Would someday in the future that I fall asleep forever. See you, see you then in the far beyond sky. Otaro, you are an incredible child. You know everything just looking at something we can't see. Like knowing the answers to the test from the beginning. You can always get the right answer. But please remember, unexpected things will certainly happen. There's no such world that everything can go as planned, Hotaro. We're finally leaving tomorrow and saying goodbye to this place. Hotaro, for you, this is like the hometown you were born in. Only today you still have a chance to look around. Are you all packed? All important things go in the bag. I need to get the coats ready. Hotaro, why are you still alive? Why exactly? Have I told Hotaro before? Long ago, I have a twin sister, although she has passed away. Yeah, I went to your, um, Diamond Heart. I already know this. She committed suicide right in front of me. Angel, why are you alive? See, I told you. She found a way to escape. Quotation marks. That's what she said to me before she killed herself. To this question, I can't give an answer. I've been regretting because of what she said. I realize I don't have the meaning and the value to be alive. The value of life is made by oneself. A cliche. That is right. We can't choose how we are born, so... As long as we are alive, we need to look for the reason. I already found it. About what I should do. Only I can do it. No one else can do it like I do with it. I can strongly feel my destiny. Otaro is young. I hope one day you can find your bright light. No. You might already found it, Otaro. I don't have to dream about bad things if I go outside, right? I'm telling you this, so I don't know why I got a bad feeling when I went to the engine room. Otaro, that's why you stopped me, right? You almost had a bad feeling, right? Just like me. So thank you. It was you that saved me. Saved you from your dumb, dumb self. What do you think a conveyor belt does? You're amazing, just like a manly badass hero. You must protect me for the rest of your life, Hotaro. <laughs> no way. What does it mean to fall in love? Have you ever fell in love? Not with you. I think I know what it's like. No matter Meg or Angelica, I like them a lot. I was like Mercury. However, it's only different for you. You're strange. Do I like you? I feel my heart is bumping. It, you mean the Dokis? Is this falling in love? What do you think, Hotaro? We can go outside and go adventure tomorrow. Can we see the sky and the sea? No, it's a nuclear winter or something. Or it's an ice age. Same thing, really. Finally, can I see my mom? Have I told you that? My mother is traveling outside. Isn't she awesome? Your mom's dead. I think you told me that if I only grow up, I can see my mother again. Whatever she isn't dead, though. She's like in Tokyo, she's just chilling. She's drinking pina coladas. Finally, my dream is coming true. I really wish to see my mother soon. Hotaro, there's something that I have always wanted to tell you. Can you listen to me and not laugh at me? I see. I like you. This is some kind of joke. You must be laughing at me, right? You baka. You baka, Hotaro. I shouldn't have said it. It's all your fault. 
Just kidding. Otaro, it's tomorrow that we have to say goodbye to this home. I feel a little sad. We've made a lot of fun. And a lot of sad things happened as well. Lots of... It's the last time that we could laugh here. I'm really happy to play with you for just a long time. And happy to live with everyone here. Really, really happy to be born in this world. Thank you, Hotoro. I like you the best. We're going to be together forever from now on. Oh, no. Hotaro, are you there? We're finally leaving tomorrow. Let's go say hi to everybody. Lately, I get these strange feelings like I'm being tested. This is what Angelica said about called Garden. It's a joke I can't laugh at. I didn't expect someone to watch us from the outside and taking us to entertainment. Uh oh. What if now we're still being watched? And the observers are controlling everything from the screen outside. We were in a screen or something. No, let's stop thinking about this. Feels like I'm going crazy. Yeah, that's crazy talk. And then, like, we, we kind of zoom out. And, like, as I say that, someone's watching me. And then that person's like, man, that's crazy talk. And then after we zoom out from there, and there's another person watching them, and it just goes on and on. Like a let's play of a let's play of a let's play of a let's play. Ooh, I'm getting those existential chills. Anyway, I'm glad this thing ended. We won't make it without we wouldn't have made it without your speech. Thank you, Hotaro. Let me thank you again. I'm I'm not saying you can take all the credit, damn it. Although I'm still confused, but I'm gonna say it. You're quite like my father. Stubbornness, sir. Should I say force me doing something I'm not good at? Father, if he's still alive, will I ever see him? I really like you to meet him someday. I mean Hotoro. You know human is two gender, right? Yes, male and female comes from birth and cannot be changed. Male and female, these two different genders can fall in love. It appears to be a set human behavior. But if it's not this behavior, will it be allowed? I love a female. No, maybe we shouldn't be bond by those blue rules. It doesn't matter whatever I agree. I love Angelica. It's all that matters. The journey starts tomorrow. We've been through a long way to get here. But I'm still a bit unsettled. I got everybody's hopes up about Tokyo. Is it really the right thing to do? From now on, I must confirm everything. Tokyo. Does this dream city really exist? Does that city really full of hope like promise? If this journey ends with no hope... Hotaro, what do you think? We'll have to get there first. That's true. No one can see through the future. Wink. We'll have to see it for ourselves. I'm afraid it would be a long journey. This road of hardship, danger, and coldness. Some will fall, and sometimes we'll have to leave them behind. It would be on me, then. I will take full responsibility for this trip. I can't. You're too gentle. Only being gentle is not enough. Like, you can't blame anyone. Make everything your fault, hoard it up inside. If you keep bearing the negativity in, one day you're gonna explode. Even if you lose something important, don't despair. Pour that anger and grief that you can't let go on me. I will take it all. You're a good person. I suppose you know we don't have much food. I will gather the food outside, and I will show you how. I will teach you everything until you can stand on your feet. After that, you can do whatever you want. If I got in your way, don't hesitate to kill me when the time comes. I'm a woman, and you are a man. Do you understand? Makuri. I you one day, no matter strength, endurance, combat skill, you'll be better than I am. What are you, the boss? You must defeat me someday, Snake. Take the skills I've taught you. This is the law of nature. You'll understand what I mean one day, sooner or later. Please, I bet on you. Button. Hotaro, I'm waiting for you. Sit right there. Let's talk for a while. I know absolutely everything you're going to tell me.
Hotaro, we're finally leaving tomorrow. It's finally the time that all of us leave this facility. We have to say goodbye to here. How many years have we been here? So what did happen to all the other kids and people? Was it just like slowly infighting and then just started dropping like flies or did some just leave? I can still clearly recall the day we first arrived here. It's a very memorable thing. Soon and you have a great appetite because of growth. So I was worried about what to eat every day. And sometimes you open the refrigerator and steal snacks. Soon as a glutton. Angelica likes to read books all day. Before I knew it, she slept in the library. I can't remember how many times I had to cover over a blanket. Yeah, she's like a grandma. And McCurry, she always says, I am so clumsy, I'll make a mess. But she never helps with housework. McCurry's like the representative of clumsy. Lots of things happened. I found out that when I went to the basement, we don't have much food left. I have a terrible idea. If we have one fewer people, we can survive on our food. Also, we'd get more meat if we kill her. <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy idea. Who would ever think of doing that? In your defense, though, she would have murdered everybody. So, humans are cruel. Even those who once believed as partners could easily betray. Until I see the reality, I felt like it was a dream. I thought we could live together happily ever after. Not everything could go on well. I believe I could build a paradise here. But I was wrong. This just turned out to be a cradle of ruin, title drop. I'm waiting for it. It's gonna happen. It was so good to talk with Makuri. If I were the only one to be troubled, I don't know what I would do. It's all because of you, Hotoro. You made this happen, right? Thank you, Hotoro. I really am an unqualified mother. I depend on you all the time and everyone else. I've always been grateful to you. Hotoro, it's okay. Don't push yourself. You've noticed it, haven't you? I'm not your real mother. Lower head in silence. Don't hide yourself. Even like this, I still think that I pour all my love out to you. Although I did not have a baby. But I always see you as my own child and cherished you. You were not abandoned by your mother. It was your mother's will that I'm here now. You're definitely being loved, so don't feel sad. Congratulations, Hotoro. Congratulations, Shinji. It's finally the end that you hoped for. The time of sad is over. Mother, what are you talking about? Mother knows it. No, to speak the truth. Actually, Mother's not here. Hotaro, Angelica, Tsuna, Mercury as well. Uh-oh! What's going on? I felt it. What you see is a different world from us. And you are resetting the world. The only one who can lock the save box is you. You are not Hotaro as before, aren't you? You saw through that. Yes, because Hotaro, you were always doing the opposite of what I was doing. I want you perfecting this world of your own will. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not blaming you. No matter if it's right or wrong, I don't have the right to judge you. However, this is your answer. Your future must be very tough. Because you haven't noticed that... Where is this place? This world is a dream when you are in your mother's tummy. Although it is pitiful, but when you wake up, you have to accept the reality. Because life is full of choices and life cannot be replayed. Oh, what? It's getting a little out there. The sad things, the painful things, someone has gone or died. Dead. You turn all these into something that never happened by doing it all over again. But this won't work in real life. These choices cannot be remade. You may lose anything if nobody gets reward. You still have to live. It's time to say goodbye. But I want to leave. Soon you will wake up from this dream and be born in real life. When you open your eyes, you might forget what have happened here. But this cradle isn't a meaningless world. Because this is a dreamland that was made up for you to understand your mother's heart. In your heart, there must be some remnant pieces. You'll be alright if it's you. You're a tough boy, right? No one existed?
This choice cannot be remade. Uh oh. Does that mean you, you lock the save? That's a little intimidating. So just in case, I've backed up both my save folder and my game folder. So hopefully that's the right ones I have to back up. And we're gonna choose to stay in the stream. First, this is the wrong one. This might be the bad ending. Do you know how cruel this choice is, Hotoro? You'll never be born in the real world in the meaning of it. How much your mother will hurt. You would get from God in her tummy. She would text you carefully till this day. She did not expect precious and irreplaceable you have died now. Your mother will blame herself. She will regret the rest of her life not to protect you, not to give birth to you. You're going to stay here and have a happy dream with us. Do you really understand how capricious that is? This choice cannot be real. Oh, he really wants to reiterate that. Well, this is your choice. If it was you that chose it, I won't stop it. What a pity. You didn't understand your mother's heart. Hotoro. Oh no. Naive, don't want to go back in reality. I got the negative traits again. Is the world going dark? It's getting darker. And darker. There's no one here. There. This door's unlocked. The dreams of a fetus is never a beautiful thing. Because it has a symbol of a mother's broken heart on the track of human beings full of killing. Is a stage prepared for you to understand your mother's heart? With no doubt this is a nightmare. Who are you? Why are you here? Not for anyone, nor considering anyone's feelings. To give advantage of all the others, only yourself gets the merits. The dream is no exhibition. You ungrateful soon who doesn't understand your mother's heart. It's me. I am Hotoro. I was going to be born in this world. It was supposed to be like that. I wanted to be born in this world. It was you who killed me. It's kind of cheap and you killed me. Okay, so it looks like what it did do is it didn't do a hard game mess up, but it did do like a force overwrite of your save, which doesn't matter if you have other saves or if you back up your save, but let's say you were only using one save file, it would overwrite that one. Or if you only saved, had one save file for this route, or you saved a long time ago or something, blah, blah, blah. so if you only had one save file, it would overwrite it and you'd be in trouble. But if you had multiple saves of the routes, it wouldn't matter as much. You'd have to go back to your last save before this current save. So, not as devastating as I would thought it'd be, but still something I'll probably reset for. So when you think about it, there's actually only one optional ending in the entire game. And it's this one. Because you have to get all the other endings. This is the only optional ending in the game. Say so goodbye to everyone and wake up. That's right. Except the reality. It must be the best choice for yourself. You're a grown-up, Hotaro. 
It was just like yesterday. I could still remember the day that I decided to take care of you as my own child. But I can't see that anymore. Why is it? This is the world that would vanish at the end. This emotion of me isn't real. I love you, Mother. Well, if it was fake, the memory in this world must be real. No matter when, I will always be with you. I will be watching you. So live on. No matter what happens, don't give up on your life. Don't give up until the end. So, this really took an interesting twist I did not see coming whatsoever. We'll see if it's like a post credit scene. Usually you would expect one. Because I knew there was something weird. I, I knew it wasn't a realistic story. But I wasn't sure... I mean, I had an English. It could have been like some afterlife reincarnation thing going on, but... A, a, a fetus... Dream? Like, it's a spiritual story of, like... We'll see, like I said, we'll see with the post-epilogue scene. But, is it it's implying that all this was fake, even the post-apocalypse? And this is something to prepare... <laughs> like, any any fetus or something, like, their soul gets prepared to go into the real world or something? I'll think about it. I'll think about my head. Oh, fetus, why do you undulate? Is it knowing of your mother's heart that fills you with dread? Why is there suddenly scary music? I am now in the cradle of my mother. In her uterus, having a long, long dream. Dreaming of a small, horrific, but wonderful world. An extremely cruel and unreasonable world. I suddenly peeped at the world before I was born. Okay, no, the post-apocalypse is real. I'm about to be born here. Almost. I'll meet you soon. In a long and chaotic dream. I can hardly remember what I've lost, or what was taken from me. Not because I can't remember, but I even forgot having the dream. Even the memory of important people in my life would disappear. At the end of my sight, a flash of light spreads. Congratulations, a healthy boy. Happy birthday, Otoro. A 
I don't know whether it's a happy or sad. I feel an unspeakable feeling and find myself I can't stop crying. I cry out loud. Shout out loud about my existence. I'll live from now on I'll live in the world where regret never exists. Living in my life while choosing my way. In the cradle of earth, I move towards ruin. True end. A dream of fetus. I don't know if I would always... I never would have expected to say a... a ending titled that. Ding dong. The sound of an old clock came from the distance. Hmm. How much if we reload? Oh, it comes right here. Like, I'm assuming we can start a new game. I think it's kind of like the... the bad ending, where it... just overwrites a save, but you could theoretically load other saves. So, that's it for Cradle of Rune. So, I'm gonna say this game is... Bananas? And I don't mean the main game itself, I mean the, what it led up to, and its explanations. <laughs> In fact, it, it's probably one of the craziest explanations I've seen. So, there's a lot of people who I, I see in the comments. Like, so I, I beat this game in one night. So I, I wasn't spoiled by anything in the comments or anything like that. So I saw a lot of the comments, people were trying to like say there was plot holes, or this, or this, or this. You probably weren't paying attention fully, didn't quite interpret certain things right. So there's no plot holes in this game. In fact, nothing actually really needs to be explained. Without the ending, you actually could take this plot relatively straightforward. And, it, it, you know, it, it's just a, a, a basically a fallout shelter and a, a weird nuclear winter ice age thing. Um, it has some food issues and someone's crazy and breaking the fourth wall and blah blah blah. You could take it at, at face value. And and the story could theoretically end there. But no. The, the loops and some of the quirkier parts of the plot of the meaning of the plot and the some of the motivations and some of the other things when you get to the final twist of what the story is about it just it just makes everything so crazy from a new perspective now that I, that i personally can't believe it on some levels like i i only saw this partially coming in a very crack fury in the back back corner of my mind kind of way so if you know how reincarnation and karma somewhat works. I, I think this plot maybe is a little bit understandable. Like, th there is some instances where the karmic cycle or certain stories of where even someone might even encounter a future life of theirs in their current life. You'd think it'd be like, oh, you, you, it doesn't really go in order if you get what I'm saying. So I, I think this is partially a foreshadowing for the baby like the baby babies have dreams or at least this one in particular and i think it is based on the real world as in there is a, a some kind of apocalyptic situation going on and the mom is the actual mom and that is what she looks like blah 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 and somehow it is kind of sucking off memories or like the situation from the mother something weird like that and there is a possibility that the, the situation our main character is going to be born into will actually completely mirror the events of the game. I think that's a possibility, like it is foreshadowing it. And it's like saying, yeah, you're going to encounter something like this. Don't screw it up. But you're also going to have no memories of this event. So you might screw it up. It's using a game as a karmic reincarnational metaphor. So it's kind of like one of Tezuka's mangas about, um, I think it's Hino Tori or something. Which had had some similar storylines in there, but it's it's using a, a anime cliche framework purposefully to kind of tell it. And then we also have the fourth wall breaking portion of the game, where Angelica breaks the fourth wall. She calls you a recaller. She says you're a recaller, and um, our main character even calls you the player out if you kind of 
cut off his life, in a sense, in the womb. He blames you. He calls you a terrible person. You have stopped me from being born. So, I, I, like, I, I'm calling this the Sharon universe. Sharon universe. And in this universe, some of the characters do know they're in a game. They're all connected in some weird way. And they're all in a game world. Or a visual game world. So some of, them, some of them know this. And some of them break the wall sometimes and manipulate or do stuff. Uh, it's kind of like, I'm going to say, it's kind of like Deadpool. And I think... Um, there's like a another like teenage, it's like Gwenpool or something. I think I don't I don't pay attention to modern comics too much. Who also breaks the fourth wall? So like the Marvel comics, for example, exist in a comic world, and they, this the fourth wall breaking never happens. It never acknowledges a comic world, except for certain specific characters. So that's the Sharon universe. So Angelica somehow in her trauma was able to break the fourth wall, but she's also not an existent character because she's just in a, a dream of a baby. So, a dream character of a baby, fetus specifically, is able to figure out there's a fourth wall, break it, see the future of that them doing terrible things, and show that it to themselves, while also communicating to a, another fourth wall breaking character? So, so that's that's where the storyline gets a little... not convoluted at all. Like, it's, it's relatively simple to understand, but it gets... it starts going all over the place. The the existential implications of this universe are just very... They just really make your head go spinning. But yeah, so... Overall, I actually do like the Cradles of Rune. It's not necessarily... So, it does have the translation issues, but you always understand what each sentence is saying inherently, even if it's choosing the wrong word to use here for easy flow. So I don't think we're, like, missing the plot. I just think the plot is purposefully awkward. Like, it, it is awkward, and but it's not the art, the writer trying to be too smart. It, the writer's trying to be kind of... It's kind of like Y2K, where the writer is purposely somewhat writing bad to be somewhat ambitious and tell a specific kind of story. But unlike Y2K, this is an enjoyable story at the bare minimum. And it knows it has some anime cliches and has a little bit of fun with it. And isn't it really afraid to kind of like take it out there? Well, Y2K, the, the creator actually did think they were actually being very clever. And that you, you can confirm that by the interviews. Like, so that, that's the difference between these two. Similar things. And they both did have also a fourth wall meta break. Where the main character, you know, was kind of in a game. And certain things are explained as like the world being screwed up. Cradle's Rune is just much more fun with it. So that's how I'll grade it. I would say Sharon's other works actually somewhat are better written because they're shorter. But this is a very interesting foray into the the visual novel kind of format. And the the worst sin you can do in I think a visual novel or any game or anything is be boring. And Cradles of Ruin is far from boring. In fact, it's quite entertaining at times. So if you want to earn my dollar and you, you want to say like oh. This is worth my time. Then you you have to you maintain like entertainingness, and Cradle Rune does that. I can even tell by some of the views, despite some of the disparaging comments, that people were wanting to see the end of the story. So that's why I say like, it, it's a mission accomplished in a very indirect way. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play Cradle's Rune. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.